Hi everyone! In this video clip, we will learn Lenz law on solenoid and the direction of induced current. Lenz law states that the induced current always flows in a direction that opposes the change of magnetic flux that caused it. Now, let's determine the direction of induced current and the direction of magnetic poles in a solenoid. For a solenoid, Lenz law is used to determine the magnetic polarity at the end of the solenoid when current is induced. As for this diagram on the screen, when current is induced as for this diagram on the screen. Thus, we can determine the magnetic poles whether it is north or south direction of induced current by using galvanometer and also the direction of electron flows by using right hand. If you are given a solenoid and emitter, can you determine the direction of magnetic polarity? Yes, by using right hand, your thumb shows the direction of north and the other four fingers shows the direction of induced current. Now let's try for a different direction of current. The other way around. Same as before, your thumb shows the direction of north Whereas, the other four fingers shows the direction of current induced. So, please remember to use your right hand to determine the direction of induced current and magnetic poles. Now, let's do some practice. Can you determine the direction of north poles? Yes, of course you can. So, the direction of North Pole is at the left side of the solenoid. Let's try for a different solenoid and determine the North Pole. Yes, North Pole is on the right side of the solenoid. Next, we need to find the direction of galvanometer pointer. Galvanometer shows the direction of the current flows depends on which pole of magnet is close to the solenoid or I can say that the galvanometer pointer will point to the direction of current enter the galvanometer. Now let's try some practice. Look at the direction of current. Now, the galvanometer pointer is pointing to the direction of current enter the galvanometer. Next, again look at the direction of current which enter the galvanometer. Easy, right? That's all for now. See you in the next video clip.